intranasal dexmedetomidin, reduces barbiturate requirement during MRI sedation in children. Dexmedetomidin is an alpha-2 adrenoceptor activating drug used for its analgesic and antiemetic effects. Use of dexmedetomidin for sedation reduced theopental dose in adults. However, the effect of dexmedetomidin on the requirement of barbiturates in sedating pediatric patients was not known. The aim of the study was to determine whether dexmedetomidin reduces the requirement for barbiturates in procedural MRI sedation of pediatric patients. Pediatric patients with normal growth within the age group of 1 month to 11 years, American Society of Anesthesiology Status 1 or 2, scheduled for MRI were included in the study. Patients receiving sedatives other than theopental or dexmedetomidin for MRI, or those who were previously exposed to dexmedetomidin within 14 days prior to the present study were excluded. Patients undergoing concomitant drug therapy, like CYP inducers and stimulants. Patients with any abnormalities in medical examination, ECG, and laboratory values were not included in the study. The retrospective study included 200 pediatric patients. Out of 200, 100 patients included in the dexmedetomidin group received 3 microgram per kilogram dexmedetomidin before the MRI. And, the other 100 patients included in theopental group received theopental as required during the procedure. The duration of MRI the induction and total dose of theopental in both the groups during MRI were evaluated. The need for delivering supplemental oxygen and the lowest measured heart rate were recorded. The cumulative theopental dose administered during MRI was more in the theopental group than that in the dexmedetomidin group. Supplemental oxygen was given to only 2% of patients in the dexmedetomidin group and to 33% patients in the theopental group. The study concludes that pre-medication with intranasal dexmedetomidin reduces the requirement of theopental dosage during MRI sedation and also decreases the risk of respiratory depressions in pediatric patients.